everyone, it's Julia. This week I again worked at my flea market shop and just getting some product made up um, for my little summer shop. And I worked on this t-shirt. This is a color wash t-shirt by Hanes. And I'll link it down below for you and my other supplies in this video as well. Um, but this is a wonderful t-shirt. I love the weight of it. It's 100% cotton and it's pre-washed, so it has a real soft feel to it. It is unisex size, so they run a little roomy. Um, and yeah, it's just a delight to work with. I've been kind of going with this whole hippie soul vibe in my shop this year, but they seem to be selling really well. And so once again, I've got this, um, oh, just kind of a retro design going. I drew out the word love on a piece of graph paper. And then that flower I'm gonna use for the O, and it is um, a Sizzix Biggs dye. This is, I believe it's called Flower and Leaf Number Two. If I can find it, I'll link, again, link that down below. It may be discontinued, but if I can find it, I'll link that for you. I traced the design again on the other side before I put it or trace it onto my heat and bond. I wanted to share too the fabrics I chose. I picked this one first because it just kind of cut, had kind of the same color. And then I just picked colors out of that. Like I, it has like a blue uh, teal color in it this lime green and then the yellow I'm going to use for the the center of the flower and then this other one just just kind of worked well with it too and so I do have those scraps of fabric that I picked on to tracing I'm tracing just um, on the paper side of my heat and bond light and again all the letters need to be reversed otherwise they're going to go backwards I'm doing seven of these. I have six t-shirts and then I'm going to also share another um, d another project that I did. I just have some pictures at the end of another project. Pressing these on the back side of my fabric so the adhesive side is down and just pressing those into place. And then it's on to cutting. I just rough cut these first and then I will uh, fussy cut all of them out when I have them all ironed on. Got all my letters done and then it's on to my flower. I just put that heat and bond light on the back side of my fabrics that I'm gonna use for those flowers. And then I'm running two layers through my Big Shot. I can actually do um, up to four layers, but just made a sandwich and, and ran it through my Big Shot. And then you can see the design there. Such an easy way to, to um, make little appliques. I'm just removing the, the, ba the paper backing on that yellow and then assembling these, these flowers just by pressing that into place. I thought it'd be cool just to have some denim on the back side of these. And so I picked out, just went to my denim scraps and picked out three different colors of denim. And then I'm gonna rip these just to keep that fray going. And again, I just take my scissor and make a snip and then grab it and rip it. And this one, I didn't quite get it. I'm gonna to have to make that little snip a little bit deeper and then I can grab it and rip it and just kind of keep those frays going. And this is what the design is gonna look like. I'm again gonna take removing that paper backing and I'm gonna iron these onto to that, those denim rectangles. And I have this multicolored thread that I'm going to use to applique these letters onto this denim. And I'm just, I decided just to use my zigzag. And you can see it there. It's just a, uh, not a super satin stitch. When I switch my sewing machine to zigzag, this is the setting it automatically comes up to. It's a one and a half in length and a three width. And I really like that for just going around these little pieces. And here we are, I'm just flipping these over now and I'm gonna use a, a temporary spray. 
Again, I'll link it down below for you. Now um, that's just going to, instead of using heat and bond, it's just gonna get too bulky with heat, heat and bond and too stiff. That spray works really well to um, stick the, you know, these little appliques onto my shirt. I'm trying to find them the center of these shirts right now, and I'm just gonna iron that just so I can get this design in the center. I tell you, these shirts do not have a side seam, and so <laughs> this is probably the trickiest part. It's trying to find the middle of these t-shirts. But once I have that crease, then I can go ahead and lay these on. I'm just going to center that V right over that. That's gonna be the center of my design. And then this um, flower is gonna be the O, and I'm just gonna just kind of squeeze that in between the L and the V. And then press this all down into place and just get that flower ironed on, because that had heat and bond light on it. And the rest has just got that temporary spray. I don't show this, but I am just going to zigzag these on as well. And I zigzagged it. You can probably see it in the next picture a little bit better. I zigzagged it a ways away from the edge because I want that fray to keep going. To really get that hippie soul vibe going, I thought it was kind of um, just kind of a fun design. And then you'll see, too, I added it to just running down a pair of these jeans. And then the extra flowers I put one sticking out of the pocket on the front and then add in another one on the back I hope you enjoyed this quick little um, design have a great week everyone bye for now